How can you identify that patient? Now, when, when a, a group claims to be Bible believing, uh, that's actually the first test that you need to use. How do they handle the Bible? Uh, if you find me saying they are Bible believing, and I do know a number of groups that say uh, they are Bible believing, but they begin to interpret certain portions of Scripture. For example, a group that uh, uh, you begin to listen to them and uh, they read John chapter 1, verse 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Uh, and uh, they begin saying, No, 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 it's in the beginning was the Word, and the the word was with God, and the word was a God, uh, 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 basically making him a, a small entity that does not uh, who he was, and and that completely misinterprets that Bible. So although they are saying they are Bible believing, look at how they are interpreting the word. If an individual uh, takes himself and he begins to put himself in the Bible, perhaps even saying he is the two witnesses that we read about in the Book of Revelation, uh, and uh, and uh, he needs to be believed to be that kind of an individual again we need to come out and say no you can't be that individual you can't be the two individuals in the book of revelation uh because that's making reference to the coming moses and elijah during the end time period so you you, you can't be you can't be that uh, as we see the works that they did one is calling fire one so looking at the context of the scripture that they are using to affirm certain things that are extra biblical outside the bible we actually come to the conclusion this group actually is deceiving us. So if you are a member, even if they claim to be Bible believing, I think you need to be aware of false teachings where people twist scriptures. And of course, I've mentioned the, the place accorded to the leader. If uh, they are members and the leader, uh, I am a bishop, uh, but I feel extremely uncomfortable when uh, I am in a space where people don't treat me as myself, where uh, people begin to elevate you to the level you don't become real. It makes things very, very difficult even for a church minister to be humble. Uh, you begin according to yourself uh, uh, certain uh, uh, prerogatives that should not be yours. Paul writes and says uh, that we do not want anyone to think more highly of us than they should. Uh, and, and I think that's extremely important that if you find an individual who demands that people should think highly of him, then they should, then something is wrong with that individual. He's taking the space that needs to belong to God and uh, beginning to accord himself glory. Uh, which should not be his. Uh, so again, beware of that. If you are ever relating with uh, any uh, minister, any uh, prophet, any apostle, any bishop, uh, any pastor uh, who seems to be taking that kind of space in your life, uh, the space that should be occupied by God, uh, I think one needs to beware uh, that that's not the right direction. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think what I'm picking is study the word of God on your own <laughs> answers are there <laughs> you'll be able to identify you know that's right yes. that's right and of course uh, uh, the, there are many many books out there that can also help an individual who wants to read this i i, I teach quite a lot on this subject area so uh, there are there are very many many books and uh, anyone who is feeling they're struggling uh, through uh, this program here i know people we have helped to actually come out of cultic groups. So this program is extremely important. Uh, some who have reached out to us after uh, the session and uh, we've been able to arrange to meet with them and we've been able to point out the scriptures to them. Uh, I can uh, speak of quite a number yeah. that we have actually helped to come out of toxic, uh, uh, toxic groups. Okay. Yeah, and they are not necessarily coming to our church. And mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they are not in our church, but they have come out of those groups. Okay. Yeah. In conclusion on this matter, Bishop, speak to this man or woman of God who knows clearly they are running a toxic church, they are running a cultic church, because I sense they are listening. What should you tell them? I think we should take the patience of God that uh, no kind of judgment has come upon us in spite of uh, uh, the activities that we are doing as a, 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 a license that we should continue doing uh, uh, that kind of uh, activity or misinterpreting scripture or using God or abusing the gifts uh, that God has given to us. Uh, we need to look back and say that perhaps the reason why God has continued to give me space is because he wants me to repent and turn away from uh, my false teaching and uh, be able to reconnect again with God. And God asks us to, uh, dear ones who have fallen out, 
uh, apart to restore such with humility thinking to ourselves also that uh, uh, we are not super spiritual we can also fall in the same kind of categories so anyone who is out there who is uh, uh, in space where you do know even as I speak uh, your conscience is being pricked and you do know that I'm not living right I am not uh, uh, handling the people of God right I am taking the space of God in my life I think God is calling you uh, and I can only appeal to you as a humble minister of God and pray that uh, uh, you would hear that appeal to God that you actually turn away and repent and uh, allow God to redirect you into a position where you give him first place and treat his people with the respect that they deserve. Yeah. Selah. That's right. <laughs> Selah. Thank you, Bishop.